been a bit of a rough go um, for us here at 100 plus with just so much sadness with our babies getting sick. Um, myself with dealing with Mario for the last week. Still no improvement in him. He's going back to the neurologist in a couple of days. unimaginable life. Um, she was found in the back of an RV park uh, eating a dead cat because she was starving to death. Um, she was completely emaciated and had bite wounds and scars all over her. Um, her teeth are either shaved down or broken or um, it, it took a long time to to get Dharma back to a good place. Um, and then nobody would adopt Dharma because she was dog aggressive. So she lived in the animal hospital because at the time we didn't have the rescue houses. We worked out of an animal hospital. And she was the sweetest dog, is the sweetest dog. Um, but nobody wanted to give her a chance. And then Maddie came along and said, I'll foster her. I'll foster her forever if nobody comes for her. So Maddie took her in and had her for a little over four years, maybe close to five years. And then recently we got the very shocking and tragic phone call that um, our Joellen went over there to check on her and found her deceased. Um, and we had to run to the house. We had to get Dharma out of there. Police and the coroner and everything um, that was there and the investigation team and so we wanted to get her out of there as quickly as possible because we knew how traumatic it was going to be for her and we got her back to the rescue house and that's where she's been ever since um, she was heartbroken she was confused dogs feel emotions just like us. We know she was in that home trying to wake Maddie up. We know that. Um, so we know she knows what happened. And she mourned just like the rest of us do. And she was confused that she was now in the rescue house. So it was very heartbreaking. On top of that, she has now lost mobility. Um, to the point where it's it's very hard to watch and it's detrimental to her and it's even harder because Dharma's not like a 15 year old senile dog that we would be like okay you know she's old it's probably her time Dharma's not I mean she's an older dog but she's not that old and you know we think she's around 10 um but she's very, very much with it mentally. She still loves her stuffies. She'll talk to you. She'll howl along with music. She loved going for walks um, when she could. Uh, she loves car rides. She loves basking in the backyard in the sun spots. So she still could have quality of life if we give it to her. So that is why this um, video is on because we are on our way to Southeast Veterinary Neurology with her. We are going to do an MRI and see what the cause of the loss of her back limbs is. 
It is going to be very costly. We know this. We know it's going to be at least three grand, between three and four, for the MRI. And we don't know what the MRI is going to tell us. Um, but we are hopeful and we're praying. I had a very long talk with the doctors there about Dharma um, because she was on prednisone and we weaned her down and when we weaned her down that's when she really was losing the ability to walk so we brought her in they noticed the difference they saw the difference they gave her a steroid injection on the spot and she was walking a hundred times better that night so after speaking with them they told me if the steroids help and then we start tapering her down again and she loses mobility again, that means that the steroids are treating inflammation somewhere in her spine. Now, that could be several different things. It could be disc issues. It could be a tumor. It could be cancer. It could be a blown disc. Um, you know, it, it could be several things. But the only way we're going to find out which one of those things it is and whether or not it can be fixed is with the MRI. So I'm begging all of you. Dharma's been through so much already. We have to give her this gift if we can. And the only way to do it is with the MRI, which is going to cost us three to $4,000 today. So the donate button is here on this video begging all of you. I know we've been begging a lot lately with our babies, but it's so necessary and she needs this and we need to give this to her. So if you could spare the money that you would spend on a cup of coffee this morning to give Dharma that second chance, trust me, she's worth it. going to go in. Obviously, they're going to do an exam on her. Um, then they're going to get her ready for the MRI. I did talk to Dr. Adams about her health, um, her blood work. You know, she does have a slight heart murmur. Um, I spoke to him about that. I said, do you think she's okay to go under anesthesia to do this MRI? And he said, yes. I said, and if surgery is an option, do you think she can handle it? said yes. I said even with the heart murmur and he said yes. It's a very slight one. He's like we would not go ahead with it if we thought that she couldn't handle it and of course God forbid if something was happening while she was under they bring her right back out. Um, but the MRI will tell us a couple of different things that he discussed with me. Um, one option the MRI can show that she has a disease called DISCO. Well, that's the abbreviation for it. It's a really long name, but the abbreviation for it is DISCO, and it basically is a, a, a disc disease. Um, we actually have had her on antibiotics for quite a few weeks now, which if it was DISCO, the antibiotics should be should have been helping. So, you know, we're not totally confident that that's what this is, um, but it is an option. The um, other option is it could be a tumor. It could be cancer on her spine, which of course the MRI will show us. Um, if that's the case, obviously, there's probably nothing we can do. We'll just keep her comfortable and we'll give her what she needs for as long as we can. Um, hi, baby. Hi, baby. Um, another option could be that she has a ruptured disc or blown disc um, in her spine. And that can go two ways. Um, if it's one disc that's causing the, 
mobility issues and the issues that she's having um, or two that are right next to each other then they said they were they would be comfortable going in straight from the MRI into surgery to repair that and give Dharma some quality of life for the next few years you know like I said she's not it's not like she's a 15 year old dog that's at the end of her life she could have a couple more years of quality life um, so if that's the case if it's one disc or two right next to each other they said they would most likely be comfortable taking her straight from the MRI into surgery to do surgery um, now, if it's several discs down her spine, um, that they wouldn't put her through because the recovery from that would be way too hard on her for the benefits. Um, and that would just be too much for her. But, you know, so that would be a totally different conversation with them after the MRI. But if it was one or two right next to each other, they would be comfortable taking her from the MRI to the surgery table and repairing the discs and giving her a good quality of life for the next couple years. Now, if that is the outcome, which we're actually hoping it is, um, then we're talking upwards of today's visit being $8,000 between the MRI being three to four and then the surgery also being three to four thousand. Um, those just being estimates off the top of my head from previous times we've been there. We know for sure the MRI is between three and four. Um, the surgery could be higher, um, but that's a, a decent guesstimate that if it's an MRI and it's surgery, we're looking at around eight, eight to nine thousand dollars today for Dharma. And I know that that is a lot of money, but I look at this girl, I spend time with her every day. She talks to me. She sings with me. You guys saw the video I did around Christmas of her singing Mariah Carey. She plays with her stuffies. She loves her butcher bones. She still has a lot of life in her. And I believe she deserves this chance. If we can give her the gift of stability and walking again and going out on a walk and enjoying herself again, then we need to do it regardless of how much it's going to cost because she's worth it and she's already been through so much. She deserves it. Um, so again, guys, I have the donate button on this video. If you can donate a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars towards giving Dharma this chance, we would be so eternally grateful. I mean, Mario has to go back to the neurologist. Um, and probably have an MRI himself, which again is going to cost us another three or four thousand dollars. It's hard when these emergency cases pop up, like, all together, because you just see us begging you guys, and we hate doing it, but we have to, because it's about them. It's about her. sweet little face in my back seat. So again, guys, I do have the donate button on this video. 
I'm not sure what it looks like on your phone. On my phone, it's a pink button. I think on iPhones, it's a yellow button. Um, I think I saw somebody said some amount of, of doing a challenge. I can't see it really because I'm driving, but I kind of saw the word and a, and a price amount, but I didn't see what it was. So somebody put a challenge up. we will keep you updated um, every step of the way. I'm getting ready to get off um, on the exit in like a mile and they will come get Dharma out of the car. They'll do their exam on her. Um, they'll come out and talk to me and let me know what they think and what their next step today is going to be. We'll have to sign the estimate give the down payment, which is half of the MRI. We have to do that right now when we bring her in. So like I said, I think the MRI is like three to four grand and we have to at least give them half right now uh, before they'll start the MRI. And once we sign all the paperwork, give them the deposit, then they will get started with Dharma. I'm sure they're gonna take some blood to begin with just to make sure that everything is good for her to go under the anesthesia um, and then they will do the MRI once it's done usually takes depending on how many views they're taking and what they're doing anywhere from 45 minutes to 2 hours that's been my experience with MRIs um, it could be a quick one, 45 minutes, they see what they see quickly, or it could take up to two hours because they're really looking to see what they can um, determine. So once they figure out what exactly is wrong with Dharma, then they will call us and they will let us know that either there's nothing that can be done and we just have to keep her comfortable, or that there is something that can be done and they'll ask for permission from us to take her to surgery, which again will be another estimate that we have to sign and another down payment as they're transferring her from the MRI table to the surgery table, all of that needs to be done paperwork and the further deposit so we of course will keep you guys updated but like I said it is going to be two thousand dollars basically um, right now when we drop her off and also uh, we are getting two dogs from the shelter today Amy um, it's her birthday and she wanted to save two lives um, that weren't getting out of the shelter in Miami so we are also saving two lives today so again guys please donate to Dharma What are you doing? You pretty girl. And as always, as soon as we know anything, uh, we will let you guys know. And also, please say a prayer for Dharma. Say a prayer that the MRI goes well that she handles it well, that if there is something that can be done, that we can do it, and she comes through the other side better than she is now. Right, beautiful? And while we're throwing out prayers, if you can throw some Mario's way and Princess's way, 
because they need them too. Alright guys, I am pulling in now to Southeast Veterinary Neurology. Thank you all who have already donated for Dharma or who are going to donate as soon as I sign off this video. We could not do this without you guys, so thank you. This is Tiffany and Dharma. Pulling into Southeast Veterinary Neurology to hopefully give Dharma a better chance at a more comfortable life. Right, beautiful? Right, beautiful? Thank you, guys. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.